Round one. Playing first. Uh, mm. It's a little dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> I want to keep this, though, to be honest. This is kind of a dead card. This is playable, but... Hmm. Our deck is kind of mana hungry. Man, this is... This is a, really a hand that needs to draw more than one land, too. It needs to specifically draw a planes just so I can get it. Alright, I think we're going to mull. I think that, that hand could have been okay, but there's no reason to risk it. I think we're going to be a little bit safer. So, I think we're going to bottom this. We actually could use it for the migration, but to me, I think we're going to draw more lands along the way, so let's be a little more patient. But now the question is, do I want to play Sergeant at Arms on turn two, or wait until I get the six mana. I'm actually not 100% on that. Hmm. So we're at three, so we need three more land drops to... I think this turn we're going to do one. Only because we have two more six drops, so might as well get something else on the board here. That's fine. I'm perfectly willing to trade with that if I have to. All of our six drops. No attacks. All right. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to go for the patient the patient play here. All right, they're at Raf Capuchin mana now. So All right, so Pierce the Sky can come in, which is fine. So, flyers.deck, which is also fine. We're just going to have to probably bring in, bring in the uh, blood tallow candle. And uh, maybe we want to divide it out here, actually. Having one white mana is a little bit awkward, too, isn't it? Hmm. If I play the primordial worm and they have an answer for it, we could be in some trouble, but I guess it's in our best interest now. I was considering doing the extra white over the green for situations like this, but I just don't know. That's tough. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Well, even with the 
adamant will we're not lethal here. Sure. All right. So let's just concede. We got some more card answers out of them, which is fine. I think we can beat this deck too, which is also good news. So let's bring in the Pierce. Let's bring in the Candle. We're going to drop the Adamant Will. And. Didn't see any artifacts or enchantments yet. But I do have to make another cut here. So. It's probably, I mean, I guess we really have 16 creatures if you include Call the Cavalry and Migration, so maybe we can just cut our weakest creature, which is probably an elephant, I would say. Okay, let's do this. All right, we'll play first. Um, yeah, it's a keep. Um, I, I could have played the white man in case I draw a Banalish Marshal, but I guess there was a chance we could also have drawn the Swamp to play Slimefoot. But to be honest, I guess I would prefer to play the... Well, do I want to play the turn three Banalish Marshal? I, I suppose not. Mm hmm Um I think we play it. Essentially to block against the trapper. So we can kill flyers, but Okay. That's fine too. Juggernaut, we're going to hold off on that. All right, good. So let's go land, get in there, get Juggernaut down, and pass. Sure. So bottom and top a card. All right, so let's go light and get in there. No play, all right. Okay, so we're gonna just get in with the Juggernaut here. I 
because they have Wrath Capuchin mana, so we're going to be patient here, not give up our 2 3. Trickster, okay. Well, that one I'm a little bit less worried about. Alright, that's kind of good news, actually. Sapper is a good draw. So if we attack with everything, I don't even think they can afford to block the soldiers. Because they at least have to block the juggernaut, so... And then we would get in for 2, 4, 5. I think we're going to just attack with everything here. And they take... Five, and then we play a sap herd. Pass. All right. So, sideboard plan is still the same. Uh, what did we, we saw the? Yeah, we did see one. We saw the. The equipment. It's really not enough for me though. So probably just stick to the same plan and run her back. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is just a one lander. For some reason I thought this was a plane, so I'm glad I didn't keep that. Alright, this one we gotta keep though. And I guess we'll bottom that. Well, no white mana might be good news. All right, I guess we'll... All right, I think we're still playing the forest. If I play the planes once again, if I drum Banalish Marshal, I could play it right away, which is good. But it may make more sense to just... So they just played the double blue probably to get a trickster out, which I guess makes sense. Or maybe, maybe they don't feel like playing the trickster just yet. That's funny. So, yeah, I guess we play Slimefoot. Okay. Didn't see the counter spells game one and two, but that's all right. Not a huge deal. So, it looks like Raph Capuchin once again, but let's get the Juggernaut down for now. Mm hmm. So, Blessed Light Mana is up now. Okay. Play the elves and pass. I think we probably want to get max value out of the sergeant at arms given that we've got 
stuff we need to get. All right, so we'll play Sergeant at Arms and then we'll pass. So looks like we're gonna have to find an answer for Raf Capuchin, but we have a lot. We do have a lot of answers for Raf. All right, see you round two.